Hi, Laura Whitelaw here from laurawhitelawcoaching.com, and I work with self-employed individuals and entrepreneurs, helping them with their money blocks so that they can reach the next level of success in their business and income. This kind of work goes beyond positive thinking and is actually deeply transformational. And one issue that I frequently work with people on is the vow of invisibility. Now, you're probably asking, what the heck is that, and how do I know if I have it? Well, if you've taken a vow of invisibility, you probably feel blocked when it comes to putting yourself out there in a bigger way. So if you're honest with yourself, do you find that you hide behind your computer rather than picking up the phone to make a cold call, attend a networking meeting, or put on a workshop? Or if your business is more online focused, do you feel fearful of making YouTube videos or booking interviews over a teleconference line where there might be hundreds of listeners? If this sounds like you, then you've probably taken a vow to stay invisible to some degree, and it's holding you back. Also, this fear most likely comes from childhood when someone told you that you shouldn't outshine somebody else or stand out. Or maybe, in school, you were ridiculed or criticized by a classmate or teacher from putting up your hand and giving the wrong answer. So let's see if we can do something about that fear. So starting on the karate chop point. Even though I'm not comfortable putting myself out there, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though it's scary to think of putting myself out there and being visible, I love and accept myself anyway. Even though I'd rather stay invisible and safe, I choose to release this because it's not serving me. It's too scary to put myself out there. I might be criticized or judged or ridiculed. It just doesn't seem safe. Who am I to have such lofty dreams? Others might feel threatened. I was taught that I shouldn't stand out and be different. because it might make others uncomfortable. And I was taught that I shouldn't outshine others because I might make them feel inadequate. Or that if I fail, I'll embarrass and hurt myself. So I chose to stay safe and invisible. But this vow to stay invisible is no longer serving me. And it's holding me back from putting myself out there. So I'm open to letting this go. And as Miriam Williamson says, if I allow my light to shine, I give others permission to do the same. So I choose to be an example and put myself out there in a bigger way because I have gifts and talents to share. And I have goals I want to achieve. I'm excited about releasing this vow so that I can feel more freedom in putting myself out there and achieving my goals for my sake and for the sake of others who may follow my example and benefit from my gifts and talents. So just take a deep breath and let it out. So I hope this exercise has helped you. 
please share it with others if you think it will benefit from them, if you think they will benefit from it. And thank you so much for watching.